Hello, Missouri Mama here. My name is Nina, and today I'm going to share another Shop Miss A haul. So, starting off with this giant scarf. So, trying to figure out where the bag is in. Sorry, it's just a plastic box. So, um, let me think about it this time. I'm going to take any of the annoying packaging off. So you guys don't have to hear it. <laughs> Alright. That's what I took away. So, this is an oversized scarf. And on the website it said it was a blanket scarf. I think this was $1.88. Um, where I live, everything is very plaid themed. And this thing is like super soft. I mean, it feels so amazing. And it's just a big scarf. And I thought this would be good for like when we're out camping and we're all sitting out, you know, at night. Just throw this on. Get ourselves all warm and toasty. Um, I got one for me and for my daughter. Because she's a blanket baby. Even though she's 11, she's still my baby. And she always wants a blanket. And she's never too hot. Never. Like, it can be 100 degrees outside, and she still wants a blanket outside in the sun. I have no idea why. Alright, so, <laughs> moving on. Um, this is a little awkward, but I got some of these to try out. I'm not really sure if they will fit. It says large as, large as they, as big as it went, and it says it fits a DE. But they don't quite look like they'll fit a D, let alone me. But we'll see. So for a dollar eighty-eight, you get a pair. Which means you get two, one for each of the girls. So I'm gonna try those out with some of my new summer clothes. And then next, I got this. Just the packaging. I took it out so I wouldn't have to crinkle it. It's a dollar eighty-eight, and this is the anti-cellulite massager, A plus, so that means it helps schools. Um, this one helps schools as well. So this helps schools and it's this thing. And so it looks like it looks painful but these notes are like it's kind of squishy. I mean they're so hard but they're not solid. But it doesn't hurt. Like it looks like it would but it really doesn't. And so I got this because my legs go numb really fast. Like I can be sitting if I'm sitting in one spot for more than like three minutes I lose feeling in my legs. Um, so I thought this might help, like if my legs go numb, I can rub this on them, and it might help, you know, wake them up faster. It was only $1.88, so that would be nice. I have no idea about the anti-cellular light, whatnot, I just thought this might help if my legs falling asleep. So up next, I thought this looked fun. This is Beauty Reflection Diamond Mascara Clear and Ultra, and it's like, Full of iridescent glitter. Um, hopefully it doesn't like flake off and go in the eyes or anything. But I thought this cool little weird wand. And I thought that'd be like really fun. So, cause me and my daughter are gonna do some like crazy makeup looks. I plan on doing like um, one of the looks that I was talking to her about that she really wants to do as soon as possible was like a galaxy across like here and up. Um, I have like 20 more ideas of like cool full on looks without making her look older than she is. So like I want to do makeup on her and with her. I just don't want her to look like she's 16. She's only 11. So we're going more like cutesy type of stuff. And so I thought that'd be really fun to do that. Even if I just put it in her hair. I don't know if I'm going to put it in her eyelashes because I'm a little afraid of like the glitter falling in her eyes. But I thought it might be cute for like in her hair, add some glitter. So then I got this AOA Studio Wisp Enhancing Mascara, and this one is blue, dark blue. I remember when this stuff was all like popular back in high school and middle school. So I got that one, and then I also got it in purple. Those are a dollar a piece. I thought they'd be fun to play with, fun to try out and see what they do. 
So. And let's see, I got another one of these bright eyes eye massager one because I ended up giving one I previously bought to my sister for her birthday. I made her a whole like box for her birthday. And so I gave her one of these so that way she wouldn't have to like stick her fingers in any of the stuff that I got her. Because I knew I could just reorder me one and I have some little plastic spatula things already so I could wait. And I wanted to give that one to her so she didn't have to wait or need to wait. So then I got three of their Artista eyeliners. I got blue. These were a dollar each. Um, this was dollar eighty-eight, and it goes towards the education, children's education. I'm sorry for to tell you that. And then I also got purple. And then I just, I got black. So I thought I would try those out. Let's see what they, how they look. Just one of them. Oh, come on. This packaging does not like me. Alright, so this is the black one. Oh, that looks good. And it's not even like, it's not feathering into my lines or anything. Went on super thin. I like this one. That's what the tip looks like. Um, I think that was, I don't know if that's a brush or, I think it's a brush tip. It looks like it has little strands and the felt tip ones don't. So, I'll go ahead and swatch the other one so you guys can see the shades. These are only a dollar. I think that's pretty good. And um, when I get to the close to the end, I'll try to remember to show you if they or use like if you can just like wipe them off with your finger. Or they smear real bad because that's always a good thing to know when it comes to eyeliner. Nobody wants to go through the work of trying of getting their eyeliner just right, just to have it wipe off super easy. So it's a really dark purple, like a royal purple really pretty once again that's the tip looks just like the black one and then we'll do the blue one real quick and just so you guys can see it on there it said it was supposed to it said something about just like your everybody's favorite eyeliner or something i saw people saying that it looked that they thought they meant what they were talking about KBD or something. I don't know. I've never tried the KBD one. I haven't tried a lot. So. Um. So, uh, I just started playing around with, like, liquid eyeliner. Because back when I used to, it was always, like, the pencil ones. Well, that's interesting. It just came apart the wrong way. So I guess this is your eyeliner tube. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, it doesn't want to stay in the tube. Oh, now I like this color. That blue. Now that is pretty. So I'll let those dry for a few minutes to see if they will move whenever I touch them. And I will. So I got a set of these because I thought I would try them out. And they were a dollar, I think. Yeah, looks like it. They're just uh, detox foot patches. I have no idea how they work or anything. I just want to try them out, see what they do. Um, if they work, I will try to let you know in a different in another video. Probably do like a review on a lot of stuff that I like and just totally did not like at some point. So I got 
three colors of their AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick. Yeah. And these I think were over a dollar. I could be wrong, they may have been a dollar. But I got Vintage, which is this color. And then I got Extra. And then I also got Venus. So I will do some swatches real quick of these so you can see the colors. So this one is Vintage. It's a pretty color. Okay, that's vintage. And then we got Venus. I almost got the whole set of these, but when I was looking at the colors, I was like, some of them I just knew there was no way I was going to wear. And then some of them were out of stock, so... So this one again is Venus. I'll do it right next to that one. It's a really pretty color. I really like the shades I picked out. I'm not sure how any of them will actually look on. All right now I'm just wearing a uh, Tarte lip gloss. And this one is extra. So those are the three shades I got in those. Thought they were cute. Fun to try out. And then I also got these mosquito repellent things. No idea what that's on there. I think it's something else. Um, they're citronella oil instead of like the DEET and whatnot. Um, they only had one color left and it was these yellow ones with a bow. So I'm just going to have the boys like turn them backwards in their pocket. <laughs> so <laughs> they don't look funny. And these were only a dollar a piece. And they said that you can, it says repels mosquitoes away wherever you go. Made of natural essential oils and can be reused up to three weeks. So when you're not using it, you're supposed to store it in the sealed bag and keep it in a cool, dry place. And then you're supposed to be able to keep using it for a little while. For a dollar, I thought that was a really good deal. And we're going to try them out. Actually, the, my husband and my son are going to go on a boys trip. And they're taking my two nephews. And I'm going to have them all try these out first. I actually got, in another order, I got four more for when we go camping. So, and then next I got the primer spray and the setting spray combo. Um, they're $1.88, but buying them in the combo, you save a little bit. I don't remember. So, let's start with the primer spray, because that makes the most sense. Means that it'll look what you would start with in your makeup. comes in this little teal bottle. It looks kind of blue, but in person it looks teal. It says it's paraben-free, absorbs oil, and minimizes pores. That sounds awesome. Mm. That's what it smells like. Not a bad smell. It just kind of smells like, I don't know, like, kind of what you'd expect it to smell like without being overly fragranced or have like a certain floral sin or a fruit sin or something. So let's see what it sprays like. So it's a pretty fine mist. I don't know if you can see that at all. Well, you can kind of see it. It just smells kind of like clean. It smells really good. It's a nice light smell. 
which is good because some fragrances give me migraines. I get migraines like over the weirdest things. Um, it sucks sometimes, but all right. So this is the setting spray, and it's in a pink bottle, kind of peachy bottle actually. And this is lightweight, matte finish, long lasting. It's AOA brand as well, and these both help the uh, education charity that they do which is awesome it's pretty cool to get makeup and help kids too this is locks in makeup so this one has Sometimes it kind of cleans up maybe a hint of floral in it. I could be wrong. That's what this spray looks like. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty fine mist, just like the other one. So, no, I can't throw it. Just a little bit. It's because I wasn't spraying it on my face. I was just spraying it over my lap. Trying to show what the mist looks like. So next up I got this Top Secret Concealer by AOA Studio. I got it in light ivory. Um, I'm not sure if this shade's going to work real good for me. It looks like it does on my hand. So you can't even see it. I just put it like right here. Um, maybe that'll work good. Now, once we start going camping and stuff, maybe not. I might have to get a darker shade. So, next, I got this Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer by Giove USA. And this was only a dollar. It's super pretty color. I thought this would be, like, really pretty. And, like, put on, a, like, if I'm wearing, like, a dress or something. Put this on like the collarbones and on my face, all matchy matchy. I thought it'd be really pretty. Let's see how it swatches. So that's it. When you just go straight on, but let's see. No, oh, it definitely bronzes. Just trying to spread it out with my finger. If you're going with a brush, I'm sure it'll be a lot lighter because, you know, going with the finger is pretty, it's a lot different. You wouldn't go into a highlighter with just a finger like that or a bronzer. So, I'm going to try that out and see what I think of it. And then I got this. I wanted to try out the different AOA foundations. So, I got this build Buildable Satin Foundation and this goes to A+. Plus um, education charity as well. I think this was a dollar eighty-eight or dollar fifty-five. I'm not sure. So this one comes in a little dropper bottle, glass, frosted. Oh, it's definitely full. be a little yellow I'm not sure it kind of looks like it blended in pretty good now so that'll be interesting to try out right, and then next I got one of these nail stickers um they were a random thing so like you pick how many you want to buy and they send you whatever they send you but I thought these ones were cute so I was happy with this pick that they gave me. I also ordered more of these in another order. I think I was using these on this order just to hit the 35. I could be wrong. I may have just them on because I wanted to see what, they like, see what I got. Uh, so, and then I also got three more of these lip glosses. It's the AOA Diamond Lip Gloss. I got the Pixie one. The Glacier one and the Posh one. Um, 
This one's for my daughter, and these ones I am going to put up for a gift because I think they're awesome. So I figured I would share. Pick up some to share. So and then um, I picked up another rose, another peach of the nail and cuticle oil. These were only a dollar. So were the lip glosses. But these were only a dollar. I'd given my I don't remember last time I got one and one and my daughter picked which one she wanted and then the other one went in my sister's box. So I picked up two more. One to use and one to put up for if I need it or I'll give it to somebody. It's hard to tell which one comes first. And then I picked up one of these in a previous haul and I really liked it. So I went ahead and got the full set. They don't look that different, but they are different shades. I thought it would say on the box, but it doesn't. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about liquid highlighter, but I actually really liked it. It seemed to like go in really good, so I really like these. So I went ahead and got all of them, and it was cheaper to buy all of them. I think instead of just buying the four I didn't have, it was only like few cents more to just buy this and then I'd have an extra one because the one I already have I just won't open. So we got Goddess and then we got Morning Glow, After Glow, Golden Rose which is the one I'd already gotten and then we got Golden Dream and I will swatch all of them except for the golden rose because I don't want to use that one for you real quick. No. And they are all separately. Oh, well, that didn't last very long. They had these little tabs on them and this one just popped off when I was trying to uh, pull it off. It just kind of like popped loose in my finger and the highlighter came out. Not too much, but I'm gonna have to clean that one up. And this is Golden Dream. So that's it right there. See, it blends in pretty good. And this ain't even rubbed in all the way. This is just lightly done because I got so much on my fingers, it's kind of hard to rub it in. And then next we got, I'm gonna put them down so I don't have this again. Um, Morning glow. I got glitter all over my oh sparkles all over. Oh, and this one the seal wasn't on there. So morning glow, we'll do it right beside that one. So they do look very similar. And then after glow. Well these seals do not like me very much today. I have to tell the new ones right here. Have my hand; they don't really look that different. I don't know. I don't know why they look, they only look slightly different in person, like in the bottle. And. Bottles are super tiny, but you shouldn't get there very fast because it's highlighter. You don't need a whole lot. Okay, here's the new one. So they're super light. They are more. They do kind of look like more of like a natural shine. 
I know that they were super pretty. I like how they go on. So I got a bunch of those. And that is everything in this shop and stay home. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you saw some things that you might want to go look for. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. It really helped me out. For now, I will see you later. Have a wonderful day.